sacrificing yourself in order to make negotiations to save your country. Ooh, yeah, we review. Hi, everybody, it's Corbin, and today I'm here to talk to you about Black Knight, Volume 2 by Kai Suragi. We shall read the back and delve into the nitty gritty. The shadows of the Dundrum Empire once again looms over the peaceful kingdom of Arran, and at the suggestion of his cousin James, Prince Christian agrees to visit the neighboring country as a representative under the guise of a hostage. Such a bold move is unheard of for the sheltered prince, and his overprotective lord father and faithful knight Zeki immediately oppose. But will this disapproval be enough to stop the young man who is willing to risk it for all to prove his worth in his kingdom? And more importantly, will the turmoil of political spell trouble for the prince's blossoming love? This is rated M for Mature. It is published by Blue Manga. Now, let's talk about art style. It has not changed. Um, the only difference is, is they give you a little blurb to catch you up with the story, character summary, and then the title page. The artwork is still stunning and impeccable. Um, this is very much so my teenage years. Very much so reminds me of... Oh, I just had the anime in my brain. It ran away. It wasn't Oran High. But it, it's one of those. It, it's just very traditional. Very nice. Um, very kind of shonen eye kind of drawing. Very pretty to look at. Love it. I love period dramas, so this is a win for me. Now, plotline wise, I will say this volume was a little confusing for me. It starts off with Prince Christian, and we follow his story where he agrees to be a hostage hostage for his cousin so he can go ahead and negotiate a peace between the two nations. We also find the cliffhanger in that one, which is where the mercenary group, or the merchant group that rescued him, is plotting to kill him. So, yes, it's very espionage heavy at this point, but that is only half the volume. The other half of the volume is kind of a flashback where we get to hear all about how uh, Christian's father made the kingdom and the struggle and how he found his wife and how all of that happened. Now, I will tell you, I did not expect that to happen. It was very abrupt. There wasn't much warning, at least not that I picked up on. I literally didn't even notice that there was a new chapter starting. So it literally felt like the story was Christian and then the next page it was completely different with no warning. It was not the best transition, but the story was very good. It was very interesting. It was filled with kind of teenage angst and spoiled brat angst, so I liked it a lot. So this volume isn't necessarily my favorite so far in the series, but I'm excited to see where it goes because it's presented itself to where it's going to have murder. I am so excited. So if you guys have read this before, let me know your thoughts down below. Shoot me a like, a favorite, subscribe, share this with a friend who likes Xiaoyi, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Do you like what you see? Hmm, then... SUBSCRIBE!